I had worked as a community organizer for four years. I had gotten to know Alma and fell in love with her, but we hadn't grown up together. And I was determined to better understand the life of my father and the life of his people. So uh, I flew to Nairobi, and Alma had a nice little flat, and we talked all day and all night, and I would wander through the city, and then finally it was time to come to Home Square. That's what we used to call it. <laughs> and so we took a train, and the train went overnight. And the train went very slowly. <laughs> this was not a bullet train. And when we finally got to Kisumu, we took a bus. And this was not a fast bus. <laughs> and there were some chickens in my lap. And some sweet potatoes digging into my side. And then, we got somewhere around here, and we had to get on a matatu. And it was more crowded than the bus. <laughs> and then it dropped us off, and we walked up a dirt path. And then we walked some more, and we walked some more, and finally we came to Mama Sarah's house, although it wasn't quite as fancy as it is now. <laughs> and I was hungry, but I had to catch a chicken to eat. <laughs> so we scurried around the yard until we finally caught a chicken. And fortunately, uh, Mama Sarah was, was better with a knife than I was, because I think I got a little squeamish. And we ate. And then uh, before bed, there was a cistern where we had to bathe with a little ladle, and we were scooched underneath the water. And, uh, and I looked up at the stars, and I visited my father's grave. And it gave me uh, a sense of satisfaction that no five-star hotel could ever provide, because it Because it connected you uh, to your past, and it connected you to the stories of those who came before you, and it grounded you, and gave you a sense uh, of place that then fortified you for the future. And when I think about what Alma has now accomplished in building this center, uh, what I think about is that first night in the yard and that first night going to sleep without running water or indoor plumbing, um, and the fact that uh, because she knew where she came from, because she understood her story and how it connected to the past and how it connected to the other young people in this community who maybe hadn't had as much opportunity as we had or had been quite as lucky. Um, it was out of that spirit that uh, the wonderful facility that we see today uh, has been built. So I, I tell you that story because I could not be prouder of what my sister has accomplished. And um, <laughs> it, uh, 